Mood's good. Mood is high energy right now. I think everyone is uh, dialed in and you know excited for to be here and playing in preseason. It's nice to have a fall preseason and and to have that in and of itself has been awesome. But uh, we got a group returning that is um, feels like they you know have a lot to accomplish and and are are eager to get get after it. Yeah, the pieces are all there. You're right. It's um, the pieces are there and they're coming together pretty nicely. It's a matter of well staying healthy and staying hungry to get better, you know, every, each and every week. You know, playing with uh, target on our back or pressure, whatever we want to call it, is, um, is something that we've been practicing as, as a team over these, like, you know, especially these last couple of years. And um, with the maturity that is on the team and the group that we have, and I think the confidence that they, they're able to play with uh, for most of the time, you know, we have the tools to start playing, I think, with confidence in big games, big moments, um, and handle that pressure. I think collectively or big picture wise, I think the team is handling the pressure very well and is really very excited to be playing or wanting to, and they take honor in playing that level, you know, and playing with that kind of pressure and having that um, expectation. At the same time, um, they're a pretty humble group and they know that there's a lot to improve on and I think that helps a lot. The group of seniors that they played with and played alongside and they got to the NCAA the first time together, that was such an important year. And um, from there, this group has led our team and our program um, forward and to accomplish some things that, you know, have been pretty special. Um, but the, the level of play, the level of expectation, the character with which they operate and play the game, in large part is, you know, what, what they've done. Um, the accomplishments individually aside, which there are plenty for all of them, they're just great teammates and, and really, really good people. You know, I, I'm very proud of the things we've done here um, at, at Tech and what that group has done, but I often go back to the quality of person we have here and that unit there, that fifth year unit, is um, a, it sets the bar. They're just very impressive young women. And, it's very grateful for everything they've done for us. But one thing that was interesting about last season was um, we played with a handful of different lineups throughout the year. Whether it was what would have been then the first year players or sophomores now or fresh, true freshmen last year, uh, two um, well, who are now juniors and, and Joe and Morgan as upperclassmen, they got a lot of time last year and some real on-court experience that they're going to transfer into this season. Um, and in the backcourt, a variety of different players that we've worked with to kind of fill needs defensively and serve receive. I think for us this season, we'd like to see our passing be more consistent in general. And I think we're still looking to find that rhythm um, in the backcourt with the, with the serve receive. And so uh, I think there's a need there in, in general. Carissa brings a huge piece of that, I think, with her eligibility this year and in the backcourt. And we're excited about that. Um, and in the middle position is, is really interesting. You know, we've had, we had three of our four middles get a lot of time last year and contribute. Um, Janie was all conference. For sure, Casey has really kind of come along here and she's got a ton to offer and a ton of potential there. And of course, Morgan is, you know, still developing as a player, but is already such a presence at the net. So the, the need for, um, to figure out what combination of middles that we use going forward, um, you know, maybe it's a combination of all of them, but I, I think that you'll see um, some, uh, some, you know, in that position, some, some things happen there too. Northern is a very good team. Uh, they, I think they were, they proved that last year, of course, and they were very young. They don't lose much, um, but, you know, and they have a lot to build on. Uh, Coach Mike has, has done a great job bringing them along, and, and that young team is um, going to be good for some time, I think. Um, and that's always a great battle, you know, for, for us. Um, Grand Valley is, I think, you know, one of the stronger teams coming out of the South, as they should be, and they returned, I think, almost their whole team from last year. What a great battle that was between the two of us last season. Um, Jason's first year at the helm, and wish him nothing but luck and, and everything there. And, and Deanne, uh, you know, congratulations for all that she did at Grand Valley. What, um, you know, what a career that she had there and what she's done for that, for, with that program. It's just um, something else. So, um, you know, the, I think those two are the standard in the South. And I think us in Northern are probably the, the stronger two teams in the North um, with a lot uh, of other things that can happen in the league. Um, it got shaken up a little bit. So the North-South division is a little different than it was in years past. So that could add some, um, you know, add a dynamic to the roster, um, to the schedule or whatnot. But it's going to be a strong season. And I know that there's, if it's anything like last year, there'll be, it's more even as it's ever been. Um, 
you know, there were there were more instances last year where teams were going deep into matches and battling with each other, you know, and especially because we were playing back to back. But I think we'll see some of that again this year.